And about that Duke game, uh, just real quick, is that a product of we want to see Duke in the final four? So let's call, you know, three quick fouls on uh, on Garrick. You can say that I won't because well yeah I can say that now I I like PC I can't stand Duke right now like if yeah. any unlike yeah. unlike PC I like to see Ed Cooley win Duke I don't care who's there yeah. if, if they lose it's a good day we lost yeah. by one point to Duke um, they were a good team yeah. Coach Shashevsky had him rolling again early this was early in his career he had him rolling and we knew the challenge um, but I had three falls two of which I didn't think were falls and you win some you lose some. Um, that one was a little harder to swallow uh, because I didn't think that I had a fair chance of playing a complete 40 minute game like I had my whole career. I thought yeah. some of the foul calls, but you play the game that, you know, you, you play the hand that you're dealt and we had a chance to win that game, even with that. Uh, you know, going into the going into the Duke game, obviously that's, you know, one one point away from uh, the Elite Eight. You know, is there anything, you know, in that game you, I don't know, you look back on? That you say that game, that game hurt. Yeah, that game hurt. Oh. Um, that was another game that we honestly believed and we knew that we could win. Um, what hurt us was the beginning of the game. Tommy got in foul trouble, and that kind of took us out out of our rhythm. Hey, how you call two, three quick fouls on one of the best players on the team? Like that just don't happen, and officials know that. But we still hung in there, you know. We still hung in there, and we play against Danny Ferry, who was one of the dirtiest plays we ever played against. Wow. Going against Kenny, him and Kenny was battling, and uh, they try to get Kenny out the game. Like you can't get both of them out the game wow. and leave me by myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't do that. That's not fair. I said, and I, we said during the game, Rev, even Coach Penn said. Duke don't need any help. They got five All Americans. They don't need help. Why are you calling fouls against us? Took us out of our rhythm, but we still played well. Um, we were used to be playing without somebody, so it didn't really affect us that much. But it did affect us because, I mean, he was our team, our team leading scorer. Either I think he was. I, I don't think him and Silk were that far away from each other. So, mm -hmm. but to have those two on the floor at all, just about at all times just made things a lot easier for everybody else. So when he went out, um, we, we had the mentality, next man up, you've got to do what you have to do. Um, and we did, I mean, we fought and we clawed in that game. I've never been <clears throat> a person or a player to criticize referees or anything like that, but that was one game that I said, we kind of got a little home job. Um, they kind of did stick it to us. I mean, there were a lot of questionable calls especially in the second half of the game when either we could take the lead or we were making a run that literally took us out of it. So, um, but it is what it is. I mean, our whole mentality was we wanted to face Temple again. Temple had beaten us three games, three games yeah. at home, their place, and then in the tournament, the championship tournament, they had beaten us. So we knew there was no way in the world that they were going to beat us a fourth time. Yeah. And so that was our whole goal was to get to Temple again. And we just fell short by a point. Silk was phenomenal that game. Kenny Green, Mergen Cena, John Evans stepped up. All of our role players took a bigger role because I just didn't have it that night. Um, and they they almost led us to a an Elite Eight. And I was so proud of those guys that night and so disappointed that I had an off night. Um but yeah, I can't say that now in my current job after games, but I can say it for a game that yeah. was 30 years well, ago. Yeah, the refs messed that one up for us, definitely. Well, wasn't it wasn't an off night, you know? You can, it's hard to do stuff when you, you know, you can't can't get in the game. Um, yeah, I should have been smarter though. I should have been smarter, right? You, you you have to figure out how the refs are calling it. And I didn't until it was too late. I looked at the bench and I'm shaking my head to say, please don't take me out. Coach Penders was already like, you're not coming out. Figure it out. Yeah. You're gonna play the rest of this game, but just don't fall out. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And that's the kind of trust and belief that he instilled in us. And I think that's why we were so good. He made us mature basketball players. I figured out how to play with fouls. Silk, Kenny, all of our careers. He was like, no, you guys aren't coming out. We played like seven guys for two years. Um, not that we didn't have capable people on the bench, but that's the people that Coach Pendus thought we could roll with and win with. There was no such thing as foul trouble on our team. You know, like that, that rule 
that you get two fouls in the first half, you're coming out. That yeah. didn't exist for us. It really didn't. Looking at that bracket, uh, you guys, you beat Duke. You guys would have played Temple. That would have been, uh, you know, the first Atlantic 10 team to, uh, to be in the final four and you would have played them again. It wouldn't have been, I, I can say this now, yeah. who knows? I'd yeah. like to think, and if you ask anyone on our team, because Temple had given it to us for three games that year, they just were yeah. really good. Then they weren't going to beat us a fourth time. And they yeah. ended up losing that next game to Duke by about 30, I think. And as the game went along, they was able to see that. They witnessed that. Oh, these guys can really play. You know, Coach K had so much respect for us after that game. He's like, yo, you guys are warriors. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't back down to no one. No one. And we got that from Coach Pender. Yeah. You know, individually, you got to have it yourself. But to get that encouragement from your coach, nothing better than that.